What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys, and welcome back to the UNLV AD series, boys. We're coming down the home stretch of the last part of the first season. I mean, if we win, it's gonna go longer, but if not, the season's gonna be over soon. Here we are sitting May 14th, getting ready to head into our conference tournament, boys. Now, in order to make it to this conference tournament, in order to be set up to where we were, we just beat TCU. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, last month, we uh, we did lose the series, but we did win a game, and we needed to win at least one of those games to get one of the recruits to come through, and I think we uh, made that happen by getting that dub. Come over and take a look here. We also hit uh, level our level one team uh, pitching goal. Take a look. The pitching goal was to have at least one pitcher win eight to have eight wins in a season, excuse me. Then a level one conditioning goal would be one player making third team all conference. I think we, are, we will get that done. Another goal for fielding is gonna be to win 25 games in a season. Not sure if we're gonna be able to hit that or not. And then a level one hitting goal is to hit 50 career home runs, but that's cumulative over however many seasons we rerun this series. But here's the top recruit challenge I was telling you guys about. We had to win one game against TCU in order to intrigue one of the top recruits in the nation. We got that done. We heard back from him he's definitely interested now before we get into this conference tournament game versus tcu boys we're going to get back our starting second baseman and in, in games now remember we lost terry Gaines, boys and he's our leadoff guy he's one of the glue guys for the squad we need him on the field to help us get things done out here he's gonna be nice and refreshed and he comes back right at the right time what would this do with our chances of winning this tournament. I don't know, but it's definitely a good piece to add back to the squad. Now real quick, take a look at the playoff tree. We are the sixth seed. We're the last seed. So we got to take on the number one seed, TCU. Second seed is going to be San Diego State. And fifth seed is going to be Air Force. Third seed is going to be Utah. They're going to be taking on number four, BYU. Uh, BYU, one of the teams that sucked out of conference, but they absolutely did their thing in conference. So that's why they are where they are. So this is what I mean about it, boys. So take a look at Utah and BYU. Both of them are well under 500. I mean, we're under 500 too, but they're like well under 500. Utah has a 28 win percentage. BYU has a 34 win percentage, but they're they're both, you know, Utah is 11 and 10 in conference. And even though BYU is under 500 in conference, they're over us. So like, this doesn't even make sense, bro. We won, okay, so for some reason, we play more, more conference games at Utah and BYU in Air Force. So even though we got more wins the Air Force, our win percentage is lower. Oh yeah, so we gotta come out here and show that, you know what I mean? We ain't no slouches. All right, boys, gearing up for game number one. We're gonna be going with our ace and Curry. Um, they have three bona fide aces over here and King, Smith, and Krob. We're gonna be going up against King. Here's the starting lineup for us, man. We got Gaines leading off playing second, Guyer playing third, batting second. Wald playing first, batting third. Denson batting cleanup, playing right. We got Riley, whose energy is a little low, batting fifth behind the dish, but we need him for his defense. And you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a captain out there. Bat six playing left is Udolf. DH and batting seventh is Middlebrook. Batting eighth playing short is Walshaw. Then we got our guy Burkett batting ninth, man in center field, boys. And take a look at their roster, man. They got some dogs. We know they're like that. There's not an easy out in that lineup. We're gonna have a tough, tough day out here, but I think we can get the job done. See you guys out there on the field. You're watching EA's NCAA Baseball. This is Mike Patrick along with my co-host, Kyle Peterson. Hello, everybody. The wind blowing in today is a pitcher. These are your favorite days. The senior is the starter today. He certainly is, Mike. His pitch list consists of a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a hook, and a tight slider. Now we're going to go two-seam and up and in. That's a lazy fly ball. Denson unable to get it. All right, boys, so just like that, TCU gets their first base runner of the day. You know, this whole team can fly, bro. That ball is absolutely laced. Denson on his horse. He's going to be unable to get it. Karam's off the wall kind of weird. That is going to be an RBI triple for TCU, boys, and we are in trouble. All right, boys, just like that, we give up a run. It's all good, though. You know what I mean? We know we 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 know we, we know we need to score one run, run to win the game. Burkett runs well. But he's not going to get to that one as that ball was absolutely hit to the perfect spot. And that's going to be back-to-back -back triples for TCU as we go down to nothing. All right, boys, let's see if we can get the uh, sliders in on the hands. 
Tighten them up a little bit. Ah, it's going to be hit right back up the box. Come on, fellas. This is going to be a long day for us, bro. Palm ball is the money pitch. That's the pitch we're bringing here. He's stealing right back up the box. Let's go. The steal actually, the steal actually kills them there because Walshaw was already running up the middle and it was hit right at him. All right, boys, let's get these sticks going. Another one of our top hitters here, man. Here we go. Way to be aggressive. He gets that one down the line. Look at the turn for two. The ball is bubble. Horse. Oh, your horse. Let's go. Way to be aggressive on the base pass. And we get a lead off double. Well, I'm not sure they're going to count it as a double. But we get two bags out of it, man. Let's go. Begging you to hit a ground ball. Here we go. Lock in, baby. Three balls, two strikes. Ah, I was in the strike zone, bro. Frustration, dog. Stranded a runner. There's Braden Taylor, one for one with a triple in the RBI today. Nobody on for him, so a triple doesn't really hurt us, but we definitely want to try to get him out. Did sit because he show off the arm again. This time, it will not be in time. Let's see if we can double him up. Come on. Remember back-to-back -back triples last time. Let's uh, stop back-to-back -back singles. He's still in perfect pitch. He's still on the palm ball. He's in there easily, bro. All right, so they got a runner in scoring position just like that. He's still in third, too. Show it off. Get him. Put the tag down, Geyer. Great the throw is on the money, bro. Wow. My man is about to manufacture a run here. That's going. Are you kidding me, dog? What the heck, bro? All right, boys, so we give up two more runs here. It's our ace, by the way, getting, getting smacked all over the field. Good play there by Gaines right up back up the box. I mean, we got to hit the ball, bro. All right, one, two, tough for two. Number 21 Ooh, is stupid. This game. All right, we go 0-2. Tough for two here, baby. Let's go. Mm, three straight change-ups, and we look silly on every single one of them, bro. All right, boys. We already knew this was a tough hill to climb, trying to beat the number one team in the conference. We did bring London Hall out of the pen, but, you know, it's more the same. TCU is just locked in right now, boys, and I only want to use so many, you know what I'm saying, so many... Uh, I mean, I really don't. There should be a 10 run rule. I don't know why this is going on. I don't want to waste too many arms, bro. 20 to nothing. Oh, yeah. Now it could be 10 runs after after seven, bro. So we lose this first game 19 to nothing, bro. We gave up 17 hits. We only had three. We stranded runners all game long. These two both had doubles. Nothing to show for it. Brockett, I mean, Shriek came in and got a hit. Nothing to show for it. Two doubles on the day. Curry, Curry lost as a pitch as the pitcher. Fourth loss of the season. We gave up three hits to the leadoff, three hits to Taylor. We gave up four hits to Sykes. Sykes might have hit for the double for the cycle. No, it looks like Sykes missed a double. If Sykes would have hit a double, he would have hit for the cycle. And you see here, Burkett, minor MCL sprain. He will be out for the remainder of the season. So our defensive anchor is gone, boys, and now. We have Shriek out in center for the rest of the season, which could possibly only be one more game. Now, if you take a look at the playoff tree here, TCU, of course, beat us. Uh, they did in turn beat BYU. So BYU was out of the tournament. Uh, Air Force beat San Diego State. We play San Diego State. Air Force lost to Utah. So the winner of our game plays Air Force. All right, boys, so here we are in the loser's bracket, our first game. We're going to be the away team taking on San Diego State. We got Trapani on the mound, but I fully expect this one to be a bullpen game. So we might go with Trapani for a couple innings. We're going to go straight to not land Linda Hall because he got lit up in the TCU game. Then we'll probably go to like Booker or Grimes, or we might even go to Webb, bro. I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we, we, are, we are just in one of those situations right now, bro. All right, boys, here we are back with another one. Win or go home. Loser of this game is out of the conference tournament. San Diego State, we already know, you know what I mean? Pretty good team. Very, very decent. We're going to have our hands full, but their pitcher not having the greatest season, so maybe we can take advantage of that. All right, here's the O2. Here we go, boys. Let's go. Lock in, lock in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Gainsy, baby. Ah, out in front of that mug, bro. He's oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Let's go. Oh, wow. I was starting checking my phone for something, bro. Here we go. Let's get it. Come on, guy. There he is. Ah, and we when we make it too easy for him. Oh, it's a tough play. What a what a what a snag over there at first. Hey, we moved him up though. 
damn, 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 bro. All right, this here we go. Hit it hard somewhere, kid. That a boy. Oh, we going. We going regardless. We going regardless. He's going to show me the arm. He's going to show me the arm. Let's go. Way to come through, Denson. You've been our hottest hitter all year round. No BS. All right, boys. This is probably going to be Trapani's last inning pitch. As long as he gets out of it, Burkett makes that play, but Shirik, not so much. All right, man. We're going to go warm up some arms in the pen here. Let's go ahead and go with Grimes. Yep, and we're going to warm up Webb. Okay, boys, here we go. Probably right, going to go split her away here. They're going for the bunt. They're trying to play There's small ball. Take the out. Take the out. Take the out. Take the out. We got two. Here we go. All right, here's Jack Monaco. Shortstop for San Diego State. Big A-B for him here. Went with the pitch that doesn't work for us to change up. And Denson, you got to show it off. All right, they stay put. They stay put. They stay put. They go station to station. Here we go. All right, let's try to go outside here with the cutter. Cutter away. That ball is hooked down the right field line. Showed off Denson. Oh, yeah, you better get your butt back to second, dog. But damn, man, they tie it up. Come on, Trapani. Get us out of this. And here's their best hitter and rooted. But we've had his number here today, bro. Let's keep that. Let's keep that up. All right, we go. We go another curve all the way here. Beautiful. Ah, what are you doing? Come on, Denson. Oh, yeah, they, they ain't there going to run on you that time. There we go. All right, man. Base is juice, man. Do we go, do we go to the pen? Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a mound visit here, bro. Why are we, why are we chewing them out? We shouldn't be chewing them out, bro. But we're going to sit Grimes. We're going to sub in Webb. I believe in my guy, Webb. Appreciate you, Japani. But here we go. All right, we go. Two seam away. Two seam in, excuse me. Come on, Sherrick. Oh, my goodness. Not having speed out there. It's going to forever haunt us. And run throw is dropped. But we got to just be a little less aggressive at the play, a little more smart. And we got to have better swings. And that's not a great start to what I just said, bro. Said we can't give up any more runs. And we give up a solo shot. And that was an absolute bomb. Oh, my goodness. All right, boys. Heading into the top of the ninth. Two, three, four up. Last licks. This, this is for our season right here. This is for our season, boys. Here we go. There we go. Way to A. Way to A. Way to time that up. Let's go. That one had eyes. That was a right center. That ball was smashed. But still out in front of it, bro. Let's go. Come on. There's a ground. That's ball game, too. That's ball game. I tried to take him out. That he's safe. Denson runs decently, so he does only turn it into a fielder's choice. He was out. Wow. Come on. One one count. Wow. GG's to San Diego State. GG's to our guys on the year. They fought hard all year long. You know what I mean? Didn't necessarily go as planned. Our baseball team is officially the lowest achieving team of the season. Our first year here is the AD for UNLV. Um, and we, we lose one game 19 nothing. We lose the second 6-1. We didn't get shut out in this one. We struck first, but then it was a it was a wrap after that, bro. Unlike the basketball team and base in in, in, in football team, bro. They, this team was absolutely abysmal. D plus. Everybody else I would say was at least like a B or a C. But this team is an absolute. It's an absolute. Let's, let's, let's be frank. It's an absolute shit show here, man. So for us to for us to make something shake with what we have, bro, I'm extremely proud of these guys. You know, the first calendar year is officially in the books. And it is time to see, you know what I mean, what season two has in store for all three sports. So surprising news, boys, this year's College World Series champs are going to be Indiana. They went 41 and 24 in the season, six and one in the College World Series, bro. So they almost went perfect there. Uh, their DH, Fusi, Fuchi, is going to be the, uh, you know, the, uh, the College World Series player of the tournament. Two home runs, eight RBIs, six runs scored. And that's going to officially do it for the first season here. Just like with basketball and, uh, and, and football, we're going to check in with the UNLV baseball team offseason as we're into the football season. But it's June, bro. So you already know what that officially means. Football season is all but upon us, boys. 20 and 28 is our final record, man. We definitely look to, uh, you know, get a little bit better there. But, you know, coming into the season, like, look at our rating. We have a D minus 
pitching uh, staff, right? And that showed the entire year. We got a C. Uh, we got a C. Uh, C hitting. Uh, we have a C hitting rating. That showed the whole entire year as we struggled to score runs. We filled the ball well, which we could see. We make plays out there. We got some guys who can really get to the ball. We got some guys with some really good arms. And we're a D-plus running team. You know, we don't have a lot of speed on the field, as that shows when Burkett went down. We had to put a 50-something speed out in center down the stretch in Shirek. So definitely looking forward to how we bounce back next season. Looking forward to the pieces we bring in as, a, as uh, you know, a recruiting class. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, all in all, you know, uh, I feel like the first season as an AD was a success. Two out of our three teams got to play in the postseason, bro. And, uh, you know, all of our teams, you know what I mean, uh, and all of our teams actually, I feel like, overachieved. 20 and 28 for this team, I feel like, is way better than we could have thought. 20 wins, I didn't see that coming. I thought we were only won like 10 or 15. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. If you did, smash, smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Hey. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy,